Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. I hope you're all doing okay. So in our last episode, we built the infectious diseases department within our realistic hospital. So I've been doing a few things in between episodes and unfortunately we did have an epidemic outbreak, which I'm going to talk about in a minute because I can feel a rant incoming. Um, so basically what it's done is it's made the staff less efficient and they walk slowly so we're getting lots of patients which are leaving or close to leaving because it's taking them so long to see a doctor and stuff because everyone's walking slow and that kind of jazz so ma 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 Harry, yes miss dixon i'll call you miss dixon well, have some bloody water then do i really need to tell you that if a patient's dehydrated that you should probably give them some water bloody hell right so well, I'm not going to rant. I'm not going to rant because because I hope that these issues are going to be fixed. So, PK Game Only commented on the first episode, and they made some really, really obvious, solid, logical points. Right. So they were saying, "Well, you've just built an infectious diseases department, and all of your patients are still mixing." And I, I agree. The problem is I can't really stop them. So I'm gonna, ha, not, I'm not gonna rant, but I'm basically gonna talk through how I would like this DLC to work, okay? So we have our isolation unit back here. Now, as you can see, what I've done is I've added a toilet in this little room here, look. Now, I've added this as a yellow biohazard area toilet, thinking, well, hoping and wishing that these patients that are in this isolation unit would only use this toilet. The people in our regular ward and the people in our DID offices, they would use this toilet, right? But that doesn't really work. And what happens is, is basically these patients just don't use this toilet. From what I've seen already, I might be wrong, no one might need the toilet, but from what I've seen, no one uses this toilet and patients here can go and use this, you know, these patients use this. But the other problem is that, say for example, look, Ricardo over here, Ricardo Hoskins, if I'm Ricardo and I need to go and have a examination done in the diagnostic unit, right? I could have something like HPS, which is highly contagious, but to get to that room, I need to go out of here, through here, through here, through here, through here, and into this room, right? And then only in this room, um, doctors and nurses will use masks and gloves. But what I'm trying to get to is what would be great with this DLC is that if we could actually assign these rooms to different wards, right? Because then what I could do is I could go over to a bigger space like this space over here and we could have completely separate rooms for our regular ward patients, for our clinic patients and for our isolation unit patients. But it's just not possible. So I'm going to try and be as realistic as I can with obvious barriers in our way, like space and things that unfortunately at the moment yeah, let's be optimistic guys at the moment the game can't do so that's kind of where i'm at the moment so i've got in the department i know it's not as realistic as it possibly could be i know that guys honestly please don't think i'm just being ignorant i know that um if you have any suggestions let me know down below if you think we should move over here and you know build out the department so the game would work in that way i'm happy to do that if that's what you guys want but I don't want you to get frustrated when it doesn't work like that. Okay, so that's that's basically my mini rant at the beginning. So I hope it makes sense. I hope I've conveyed my point um, that at the moment, maybe the new infectious diseases DLC maybe doesn't work exactly how we want it to at the moment. Yeah, but we have to be optimistic, like, you know, with future um, bug fixes, updates. This could all change, guys. Okay, this could all change. But that's kind of where we're at, at the moment. It's a bit frustrating, but we kind of just have to deal with it. So I have been doing some other stuff in between. I've been a very, very, very busy person. So intensive care, I've moved up here. So our intensive care unit, if I just pause the game, 
our intensive care was here and it was great it worked but we didn't have many beds i think we had around five maybe six beds so it was quite common for us to go above our capacity or you know like be at our capacity in the intensive care unit and our emergency observation ward was also at capacity so i've moved intensive care up here to our top floor which makes sense right because you want to really really limit infections all of that kind of stuff being able to get to your intensive care unit i know we've got the infectious diseases department across from there but we've got separate elevators they do not join up at all here so this bridge space is not present for these two units and what's also been able for us to do is extend you know our emergency observation walk which is great here and we've got some room here which we can play with and add some more things if we need to later on down the line so that's that i've also expanded expanded if i can speak our radiology unit over here so i've moved cardiology and sonography i think yeah i moved those over here and they were here and then we've added an extra mri room and an extra ct room now we might need to also get another x-ray room i'm not sure where yet exactly but we might need to okay so what we're going to do is let's take it slow we'll monitor this department down here in radiology and we'll see how it goes okay um, it might be okay it might not now what i wanted to do very quickly was get oh my camera keeps bugging out a little bit is get a restrict door and then i was going to make this bit here um staff only so only staff would come through that door like, can i do that there as well no i don't think i can the only staff will come through this door you know that's a bit of a quicker route rather than going around to that door so yeah as you can see we're getting lots of patients which are kind of half treated the labs were all backed up so i actually um this floor here i actually like massively expanded our staff of hematology and um histology but as you can see we're still getting a bit of a backlog so i'm tempted to use this space over here to build more labs let me know what you think i might not do it in this episode because i've got other things planned for us but let me know what you think guys if you also think that's maybe a good idea let me know down below in the comments so our press dj at the moment is not going to be good because you know we're getting lots of patients leaving because every member of staff is walking incredibly slowly around our hospital so caroline here so let's just do all of our admin and then we can actually get to doing the things that we need to do so she's well she's actually in the icu uh, but it looks like we might need some more stretching nurses for the icu or maybe internal medicine so for icu i thought i had quite a lot we've got four stretch well three in the day and three at night really that is quite a lot lots of stretches so let's go and see internal medicine and just make sure that that looks good where is that that's over here isn't it so our stretch of nurses would be based in here yeah we have two in the day two at night i mean are they busy looks like they are so why don't we do this let's add a few more people and well can that go that no okay so let's move that to there that to there and then we can prefab this here look. so we've got lots more space where we can get in some more nurses so we need some yeah an intern's perfect an intern you're going to be transport only let's get one more at night and we could go for someone like susan and again we're going to say you just do patient transfers and maybe let's keep that one on the end free for the moment for the moment and see how that goes but these yeah run run lady run right so oh my god it's just constant patients collapsing right i, just, I haven't got time um so i see you observation just do what you want basically um uh, and then to do iv fusion just go away harvey go away oh for god's sake go away right okay so what i wanted to do is spend a little bit more time dealing with a few of the infectious diseases cases maybe and also i wanted to start building cardiology now my idea for this was to build the clinic in this episode because i didn't know what you guys thought about maybe moving the infectious diseases department over to here 
you might think that's a good idea and if you do let me know in the comments below and we can move it over there expand our department yeah so what i thought we could do is just do the clinic for cardiology which will probably go in here so let's just get on with it and what we're going to do is i think if we build the cardiology clinic then what we can do is go into doctor mode and say that we'll look after patients in cardiology and in infectious diseases department and that means we should see some variety in cases you know some might be cardiology cases and some might be infectious diseases that's the idea that's the idea i had just to you know keep it a little bit varied and a little bit interesting i thought okay so right let's i'm gonna stop blabbering now basically i'm gonna stop blabbering and then we'll go in here and let's get in the cardiology clinic right so let's just have a look so what i could do is in the essence of time i'm going to copy this which is what department is this this is general surgery or neurology is neurology right so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this um i want to copy it to there i think then we can also copy it to the toilet if we need to so that's going to go in there beautiful or beautiful and we'll change a little you know a few bits like the decor and the wall colors that kind of stuff and i think i want to steal that is that right yes lovely right so that's lovely so what we can do is go into here get rid of all of that right and now this is going to be cardiology which is here so we're going to have oh no you need to go away so we're going to have three cardiology offices so one two three and then that's going to be a common room in here this is a waiting room so that goes up into there into there we have a rest room here in the corner and then that is a corridor outside right and then they'll share these rooms in the middle and we also need to get in a reception so let's do that that should be all good so let's get this receptionist in as i'll forget i will most likely forget you know what i'm like because you know what i'm like so you are a fast mover we don't need anyone crazy good to so me we'll go for someone like maybe george he's pretty good let's get in george and then we'll get a, a nurse in here at night as well and then we'll go for daniel Let's just check we've got a nurse day and night. Oh no, that's actually urology. And yeah, we have got day and night, lovely, right. So cardiology, that's great, right. So cardiology receptionists are done. So let's go for doctors, right. So we want someone to be our chief, ideally, if it's a good boss. There's one good boss here. Um, and she likes her food, which is fun. I like my food as well, guys. So let's get an Emma. And I think Emma's going to be a really good choice for chief doctor here. So there we go. And then let's get a few more. So let's make sure these doctors are really great at diagnosing patients. So Matilda's pretty good value for money. She's very nice. She's got a really high advanced diagnosis skill. Brooke also looks pretty good. So let's get Matilda. And then maybe we could also go for, who was it down here? Was it Brooke? Yeah, so she's not bad at all. She's got a really high skill here. And she's actually quite cheap. So let's get her in as well. Can I go for a night stuff? Oh yeah, awesome. Right, so we're gonna go advanced diagnosis and then someone like, hmm, Douglas could be good. Let's get in Douglas. So we'll go for one doctor at night, I think for the moment and see how that goes. Right, so let's get in some janitors. So at least one in a day at one at night at least. And let's go for Lynn. And then maybe one more in the day and maybe we'll go for jonathan yeah okay lovely right so that's all of our stuff already done so what i'm going to do now is quickly jump i'm just going to change all of the decor i'm basically just going to change the colors to look a little bit more like this department you know reds and pinks for cardiology because i'd like to assign a color to departments and cardiology screaming pink and red to me so i'll be two ticks guys i'll just change all of this and then we will be back Okay guys, so that is all done. I've done the decor down here. I've added a few cardiology posters. We've done this nice pink theme. I've left a little bit of blue here and there and we've gone for like white and black seats here in the waiting room. We've actually got a rogue seat down here, a rogue blue. 
So let's go black for you. Yeah, lovely. Right, okay, so there we go. That's the clinic done. So now what we want to do is I don't think, I don't know, can we say that I want to do like all three of these guys for cardiology and then infectious diseases? It looks like I can. Beautiful. Right, so now we want, um, who is in the clinic over here? I think it is you. So who, oh, you've got your little hat on. So we've got Sally and is this Hugh? Yeah, and Hugh. Right, so there we go, so there's Hugh. I'm just going to pause quickly because the, the urology department looked quite busy. So let's just come into here. Let's just see what's going on. So we've got two people waiting. Right, so let's get this doctor's office up and running. Let's go for someone like Hmm, maybe not you lot. Maybe not you. Okay, great. So maybe someone like Gwen. Yeah, I think Gwen's a really good choice actually. So there we go. So there's one more doctor there. Let's just see how this is going to be going. And obviously we'll transfer over to doctor mode. Yeah, we'll go and sort you guys out in a minute. So we've got three people in the waiting room. Okay, that should be okay. We might just need to monitor the urology department I did actually extend the regular ward here just to include one more bed so we might need to just you know keep kind of cutting into this reg um sorry dialysis ward so we don't get many patients here at all actually and like look the regular ward is already at capacity again so yeah we might need to you know basically make this dialysis ward like two beds and get this as actually as a regular ward of two more beds not sure so again we'll just see how that goes I think right so let's go over to doctor mode. So we're going to deal with, we've got Sally Spencer is looking after Jenna here. Now Jenna's either suffering from croup, which is also known, oh for God's sake, look at the size of that word. So croup is also known as laryngotracheobronchitis. Guys, I've done it. Oh my God, I've done it. And it is usually caused by a virus, rarely by bacteria. Okay. Or it could also be... Um, cryptosporidiosis, so respiratory crypto, and they've got different treatments, of course, haven't they? Yeah, okay. So let's go into here. So we know that she's suffering from these symptoms already, but we've actually got quite similar symptoms here where they both have nasal congestion. Um, obviously, we have croup present for croup, and we have the cryptosporidium detected for the um, respiratory crypto. So let's do PCR. Let's do evaluation first. Where's evaluation? Log on past it. The little clipboard. Where's my little clipboard? Clipboard. Clip. Oh, we've done it. Oh, we've done it. Oh, we've done it. How have we done PCR though? I don't think we have, have we? In the PCR, we detect the crypto. So let's do PCR. Where, there we go. PCR sampling. Right. And then we'll do that for Jenna and we'll see what that comes back with. None of these are highly contagious, so we haven't got to worry about putting her in isolation. I think what we will do is do a few more um, like treatments for her. So let's just do these treatments just so she starts feeling a little bit more comfortable, I think. Right, let's we can unpause now. So that's Jenna, and Hugh's looking after Marilyn here, who actually has a Botanese fever, which is caused by a rictesial infection. Okay. So she needs doxycycline. Then we'll also give her these other bits. Hospitalised before surgery? What the bloody hell? Why does she need to be... Okay, um, regular hospitalisation please. Not sure why she needs to be hospitalised, but but who can I... How can I judge, guys? How can I judge? Oh my god, how many notifications have you sent me saying that she needs to be hospitalised? We get the point, guys. We get the point. Right, okay, and then we're going to work on the other doctors, you know, as they start to see some more patients. And hopefully we can get through this epidemic as fast as possible. So, Mr. Joseph here wants a vasectomy, so he needs to be hospitalised. So we can put him in um, high dependency, get his vasectomy done. Again, we've not got a lot of capacity here, so we might need to do something like... I mean, I'd rather not... That we might need to oh actually we could expand out here couldn't we 
and then get at least one more bed for the high dependency unit, at least one more. And then maybe for the dialysis ward, you know, we get rid of these two beds and make these a regular ward, possibly. Not sure. But let's see how that goes. So Joseph should be okay. He should now be hospitalized in the high dependency unit and then get his vast deference cut which um yeah sounds lovely right so cardiology i assume we just you know because we've just put in the department it can take a while for us to get some patients so i assume that's what's going on there in cardiology so what i'm going to do is just do these notifications as they come along oh my god i've got about 400 edward's collapsing let's get him in high dependency let's make sure he gets rehydrated and give him some other treatments of there and hopefully they can sort out his other symptoms so he needs uh, a chest x-ray robert um but i assume he needs to be oh my god my trauma center is full right okay so you need to wait what are we doing so bed required for examination x-ray chest so you need to go up to the observation unit is that what we're saying Oh my god, and that's nearly full. Bloody hell. Right, okay. So what we're going to do is let's expand this. So does this fit perfectly? Oh my god, what a fit. Perfect. So let's do that. We're going to delete this wall from there to there. Then extend this out as a observation room like that so that's one massive ward now that is a big ward actually right so now we're to go to robert and say that he can be he's hospitalized in tc at the moment yeah we need an x-ray so i don't know what you want me to do because i can't put him in high dependency because we haven't got that um we're still not sure what it is right let's transfer him to internal medicine i don't really know why oh, i can't do that either right okay so we basically need more nurses. It looks like we need some more nurses to do stretcher work and that kind of stuff. So have we got nurses here? Your clinical. So let's get you just doing patient transfers. You can just do patient transfers. And you two can just do patient transfers. So that should mean that we just have a few nurses now that are just dedicated to moving patients around the hospital which should really help so right oh my christ so yeah my trauma center also needs to be expanded which we can do actually because what we can do is if we move these stretchers out to here and have like a little stretcher car park now that one needs to be moved so we speed up time wait for that stretcher there to be moved which it now is Right, now, pause, 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 pause. Right, now what we're going to do... Ah, God, it's busy. Running a hospital is busy. And then we want that there, basically. So if we just delete all of that, can we now copy this to go here? Yes. Right, now this, I assume, is the corridor, which can go down. That wall there can go away. That can be flipped. So they go there and there. Then we get in our tiled floor just there. That goes out to be trauma center. Then what we can actually do is get some more stretchers in here, a bit like that. Lovely. So that's you done, go away. Barbara, let's give you all of your bits down here then you can go away, Barbara. Robert, yeah, you can just be quiet, Robert. Drew has got a complicated diagnosis. I mean, are you joking? A common cold or a respiratory virus? Well, maybe... Oh, God. I've got to do everything in this place. Nasal cavity inspection we've done. RT-PCR is being done, so we can't do much for, for you. Drew, that's a bit of a tongue twister. Right, there we go. Right, so that's all of that sorted. Right, let's go back to doctor mode. Have we got anyone? So Jessica here, we're not sure what's wrong with Jessica yet. Let's do some physical exams. Um, yeah, okay. So it could be, oh, that's quite a list actually, isn't it? That is quite a list. So let's do 
abdomen, speech listening. Uh, it could be such a massive array. Temperature measurement actually that could be handy. Temp and then maybe see how that goes. Um, so that's Hugh's patient. Then we've got Jenna who is waiting in the lab. Well, how is the lab going? Are these still really backed up? Oh my god, 16. Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to build another hematology lab here, guys, aren't I? I, I don't think we can survive um, with this how it is at the moment. I know it's not perfect, I'd rather us not have to do this. But let's get one in here. Like so. That'll take a while because there's just so many objects and things to place. Lovely. And then what we need to do is just get rid of some of these windows. Like that one there. Audio is good actually. And I'm just going to delete this wall at the back. If I can't. Oh, I don't know what that's done. Oh, let's put in some more walls. Great. Okay. And that just means that we've got a little bit more space at the back here. Are those those tiles? No. Are they those? Yes. Right. So this is going to be a second hematology lab. There we go. Let's just figure out all these walls. So they need to have, I believe that's the red. Yeah, that's the red tiles. Like that, lovely. Right, now let's get this one staffed. So I'll see you in a tick. Okay, so there we go. So what I've done is I've staffed this up. There's loads of staff over here now. And then hopefully patients will start coming over here. And can I just share out the load between these two hematology labs? Because this one is just really, really busy. As you can see, um, yeah, 16 samples waiting. Mega busy. We might need actually some more sample storage. Let's go get rid of that. If I put in another sample storage. And if we do exactly the same over here, get rid of that. We'll just put in another fridge. Don't know if that's going to help or not, really. Um, we'll see. But it might mean that you know they can go to both fridges. Not sure. But it might help a little bit. Right, so let's go and have a look. Um, do a couple more things today in this episode. So let's go and have a look at Jessica. So this has whittled it down massively. So we're now looking at some kind of hepatitis or lupus. So let's have a look here. Interview, physical exam, abdomen palpitation, urine analysis, blood test, blood test. Right, so let's do some kind of lab test. You know, that's going to really help whatever it is. I assume some of these will also help. Yeah, like here we've got urine. So let's do blood draw. And we'll also do urine antigen is that one of these urine analysis urine analysis where's urine analysis am i going mental have i gone past it or have we done it actually no we've definitely not done it right so lab stuff starts here urine analysis oh here um doctors nurses unavailable histology lab um what why can't we oh for god's sake right let's do an ecg because that might show us if she has um an irregular heartbeat oh i wish you could search i say that every time guys don't i i really wish you could search ecg right now what i'm also going to do is what was I going to do? I forgot. I was going to do something, guys, and I forgot. What was I going to do? CBC. You can do CBC. CBBC. Where's CBC? Oh, that's what I was going to do. The differential diagnosis. So, what's this? Considering all the symptoms and examinations recently carried out to specify the diagnosis. Well, it's not going to hurt, is it? So, let's do that. Then let's also do the same with the differential. Is that here somewhere? Special case review that reduces the amount of possible diagnoses can only be performed by a doctor with advanced diagnosis specialisation. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's also do that. And hopefully in our next episode, we'll be able to see what's wrong with Jessica Bale. So in our last episode, episode one, we did, well, we were working on one of the events, weren't we? Which was like a, was it like a local epidemic or something, wasn't it? We failed. We failed. Um, I think it's actually what, 
caused the epidemic outbreak is that we had you know lots of infected patients coming into our hospital and they just spread the diseases everywhere so yeah it's going to be interesting guys i'm interested to see how the dlc is going to work out i have you know things that i'd like um, it to have and you know a few things that i might not agree with 100 percent but let's see how it goes i'm sure it will be fine guys thank you so much for watching today i really hope you enjoyed the episode i'll see you in the next one take care of yourselves and i'll see you later thank you very much for watching the video guys i really hope you enjoyed it please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already and please feel free to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram have a great day see you later